Okay. Oh, that was so weird. Okay. I kind of want to use something for applying that to comics. Man, I forgot to get a handkerchief for these horrible sniffs. I'm sorry, guys. Whoa, hippie, man. All the, dr all the drugs, man. All the drugs. But, oh, we got to make fun of Justin Bieber, too, and kids these days. What are you? Oh, man, Justin Bieber, he he's such a goofball. Look, he's getting violently assaulted. Man, that's so funny because I hate Justin Bieber. Uh Lost myself in your neon-drenched kisses, your candy-coated invitation to inside the abyss, the ketamine dreams, the future shock screams. What? Uh, whoa, man! Whoa, man! Okay, they, the, to Jesse and James is what I'm gonna call them. Chase them. The universe is our operating system, and more. Um, more of that junk. I'm not gonna read. Waveforms. I watch the waveforms distort. I trace my reflection in the cerulean of the pool. Fatso McCapitalist. Beardy McCapitalist gets mad. I like this. Gray, gray, gray. Yellow. Gray, 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 gray. Yellow. Red. Ah! Ah! Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. But you know what? You deserve it. Ah! Oh. What is real? la di da di da di da di da No one anywhere has anything figured out. And if they're trying to convince you they do, they're lying to themselves and you. We're all just, we're all just hot messes of chemical imbalances and phantom nerve impulses. We're all just beautiful holograms. We're all just as real as we want to be. You know, sometimes, just sometimes, you seem like you got things pretty figured out. No, no, nothing he said there says that he has things figured out, miss. It's like she was grown in a test tube and she has some knowledge of pop culture, but not knowledge of other forms of pop culture. Like somewhere she said mansplaining. Why did they teach her what mansplaining was in her cocoon? So she could be woke on social media, but she doesn't know any of the movies of the, rec of the past century. I don't know. We're all in the matrix. It's all a dream. What you want to be real is real. Don't let anyone tell you they know what's real, okay? It's, it's a morally bankrupt world for telling me a story because if nothing's real and nothing matters, why does your comic book matter? Why does your story matter? Why are you taking psychedelic drugs in the middle of a life or death situation? Oh, okay. And then Jesse and James break in and she, look, it's Andy Warhol's record cover. Warhol, bro. Tears of blood. Lips. Tears of blood. Lips. Tears of blood. Strong man. Nazis. Strong man. Nazis. Strong man. Money. Explosions of war. Money. War. Children. Money. Coca-Cola. Bullets. Coca-Cola. Violence. Evil. Blood. Lips. Nazis. Strong ubermensch. Bullet. Oh, pretentious, pretentious, pretentious. Disneyland is a perfect model of all the entangled orders of simulacra. It is, first of all, a play of illusions and phantasms, the pirates, the frontier, the future world, etc. This imaginary world is supposed to ensure the success of the operation. But what attracts the crowds the most is without a doubt the social microcosm, the religious, miniaturized pleasure of real America, of its constraints and joys. One park outside and stands in line inside. One is altogether abandoned at the exit. The only phantasmagoria in this imaginary world lies in the tenderness and warmth of the crowd and in the, and in the sufficient and excessive number of gadgets necessary to create the multitudinous effect. The contrast with the absolute solitude of the parking lot, a veritable concentration camp, is total. Jean Baudrillard, simulacra and simulation. <sighs> this 
one's going to get punished. Just you wait. America has freedom of speech because all words are considered equally vapid, bro. Only images count, man. The censors love snaps of death and mutilation, but recoil in horror at the sight of a child masturbating. There's one for Aiden Paladin right there. Apparently, they experienced this as an invasion of their existential validity, their identification with the Empire. Crumb. America. Ugh. And its subtler gestures. Hakim Bay, the temporary autonomous zone ontological anarchy, poetic terrorism. <sighs> I'm sticking with my promise. I'm not going to rip this, but I'm going to roast this. And I know exactly how I'm going to roast this. So, in order to draw Shaggy from Scooby-Doo, you need your eyes and your big nose and your smile and your gross goatee. And then he's kind of got a lantern jaw, doesn't he? And then... You know, Shaggy, what, Shaggy gets a bad rap, but he wasn't even supposed to be, like, a drug addict. Hannah and, Hannah and Barbera were probably pretty, you know, old-fashioned Republican dudes. But uh, he was supposed to be, like, a beatnik. And then this sort of, this idea of him as, you know, a, a stoner with the munchies arose later and, and a coward. But he, he still typifies, zoinks, man, everything that is so lame about this. Zoinks! Okay, what's another irritating 60s thing? So we need something that's completely irritating from the 60s. We need a disco ball. That's what we need. Okay, and then have some of the lights coming on here and it's all shining around. Oh yeah, radical man. Rad Let's write radical in big bold letters. Radical. Okay. I need another punishment. So Shaggy pretty much typifies the 60s beatnik stoner. Oh, what else is annoying? What else is annoying? Let's draw Andy Warhol. You know, poor Andy. He kind of got... So he had that crazy hair for a while, and he had those creepy eyes that were kind of too wide, and he had the big lips. Man, this is so offensive. And it's gonna be pretentious and you know, extra extra pretentious hair. Gosh. I'm sorry guys. What a, what did you do to deserve this? You watched number one Marmaduke fan. But we need something pretentious. We need something pretentious to make this work. So let's ha let's write fifteen minutes of fame. That's pretentious, right? Man, late capitalism. Oh man. Oh, golly. Oh, I'm back to the really awkward moans. What am I even doing? Why are we even here? Is this real, bro? I'm number one Marmaduke fan. Catch you later. Peace, man.